Yeah, uh, I'm Daniel. Uh, I work here at the Mary Lyon Centre, specifically in genotyping, um, where we use a range of different techniques like QPCR, PCR, uh, layout discriminations. Uh, we do sometimes do pyro sequencing, all to work out which mice carry the specific gene mutation we're interested in, basically. We've been lucky enough to attend a conference back in November, December, for uh, next gen omics, which is all about genomics and proteomics and transcriptomics and stuff like that. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of bioinformatics there, which was quite confusing at first. It still is quite confusing, to be honest. Uh, so I was very fortunate to do that. I absolutely love that. And I've also sort of been doing a mini project on cancer lines here. And we'd spend a lot of time working on that, which I've absolutely loved doing uh, because the genotyping is quite funny. It gets a lot more complex as more alleles are added to the like mice. Uh, when I was younger, when I was much younger in primary school, I actually wanted to be a historian or like an archaeologist at first. Uh, and I went into secondary school and started picking up science and uh, I started doing evolution and biology and that made me quite interested in things like genetics and biology and stuff like that. And then, yeah, just fell in love with science from there to be honest. I ended up doing a master's in research and uh, my master's in research was heavily focused on things like CRISPR and gene editing and trying to knock out a specific gene uh, called METO3 um, to have to look at the effects basically in cells uh, and absolutely just fell in love with CRISPR and lab work and all that sort of thing. I absolutely love it. So yeah. I think the most useful thing I've learned is probably uh, a mix of technique and sort of work in, in a professional lab setting where there's a lot of regulations and a lot of tracking of everything that's used. That's very useful to learn all of that. And then obviously the techniques as well, like QPCR, uh, late discrimination, and then some of the more niche ones, which I've enjoyed quite a lot learning about, such as pyro sequencing, which we do a lot with mitochondrial genotyping. Fairly pretty confident I want to do a PhD, um, but I don't want to do it in something I want to do it in something that's similar to what I do now. So some sort of genetics or gene editing or gene engineering, something along those sort of lines is what I'd like to do. Before I came onto this, I was just uns unsure of what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do some sort of PhD, but I didn't really know where. I just knew I enjoyed genetics. I think now quite solidly, I definitely want to do something semi-related to what's carried out here, as it's just really interesting. <laughs>